Terry, if this ban passes, it would prevent food stamp users from some guilty pleasures like your favorite big red soda, Dr. Pepper, or even some tasty chips or a bag of candy. And But if you're a coffee drinker, it would not be included in the ban. Coffee is not included. Um, this is targeting uh, food or drinks with 54 milligrams of caffeine or more per eight fluid ounces. This includes sweetened or carbonated drinks, chips, candy, soda, but not the banning the use of buying fruit or vegetable juices. The folks with the South Plains Food Bank help SNAP recipients through the application process and they feel like this bill would be difficult to enforce. Personally, I just don't think that there needs to be kind of an oversight or somebody making those decisions for you. It's a personal choice, just like anything that you decide to put into your body. Um, and just because you're getting money from the state doesn't mean that they need to be able to tell you exactly what you can and can't buy. And the product will tell you how much caffeine, ca caffeine content is in the food or drink. If you take a closer look at the nutrition facts here on this big red can, you can see that the caffeine content is 38 milligrams per 12 fluid ounces. So this, this can would not fall under the ban, but this can of sugar-free Red Bull says that the caffeine content is 151 milligrams per 16 fluid ounces. So this would fall under the ban. And tonight at 10, I'm going to have a more detailed look at this bill. Reporting live for KLBK, I'm Mani Salazar.